Oh no, I thought we were done with the graphs and the charts and they just slipped one in there. Just goes to show the passages are not really in a great order. The main idea ones tend to come first in the section and then later on we get to these kind of graphs and other inferency type questions, but you just gotta be able to skip around. This doesn't maybe matter too much for the first module, but certainly for the hard module, you gotta, you gotta hunt for the, the stuff you're gonna do best at. But here, it, it doesn't look too bad. Which choice most effectively uses data to complete the statement? Statement is short. A student is researching rotating radio transients, a subclass of pulsar stars characterized by short pulses of radio waves. The time between consecutive pulses of an R rat is referred to as a period. Looking at the table, the student determines that. Okay, like literally, this is this could go anywhere. This is just like this is purely I can tell about the facts and the and the truth of the the numbers. So J0614, so that is here, has the shortest amount of time between consecutive pulses. So that's the period, right? Between consecutive pulses is the period. So uh, is that true? No, right? This is the shortest, 3.354. So, oh no, 0 0.136, see, I read that wrong. So yeah, that seems true. It does have the shortest. Okay, let's move on. Uh, 0545 and 0121, so 0121, have the same amount of time between consecutive pulses. So that's this and this. No, those are different numbers. False. Uh, 1654, oh my God, I hate this, uh, has the longest amount of time between consecutive pulses. So is this the biggest number? No, not even close. So false. And finally, uh, 0103, so this one, uh, and 0121, this one, both have more than one second of time between consecutive pulses. Mm, no, that's only 0.3 seconds, so false. So honestly, the hardest part for me is just it's so many numbers and I, I get a little kind of like, I don't know if this is the right word, but like dyslexic about it. Like I just kind of read the numbers. If I read them too fast, sometimes they don't, I don't know, they don't register for me. So maybe that's part of it. Uh, so that's just, I, I know that I do that. I know that that is a weakness of mine. So when I get to these questions, I'm just a little bit more careful about really double checking that I'm reading a number right. Um, and I kind of just like say it in my head, basically. So you could see even when I said it out loud, right? I was saying, you know, 0614, 0545. Like I was reading the numbers because I, I just, it's too much. My brain can't handle it. I don't know what it is, but we all have our strengths and weaknesses. Learn what yours are. Try to find ways to deal with them. And that way you can, you know, save points. We, we really don't want to make careless mistakes because of things that we're just a little bit worse at than everybody else. So that's all. We're trying to just prevent those careless mistakes before they happen. That happens in math too. But there's really no reason you should get this question wrong. It's purely about reading numbers. There's no math to do, but it's still, you know, it, it feels intimidating when we see a chart like this. But just take it slow, read it carefully, and you'll be fine.